Let me show you a quick and easy way to do stars. I'm doing an outer space scene right here, just a window in the space, so I want to have a lot of little stars out there. Get yourself a big brush. I think that, that any big paintbrush, this is just your stock standard. So I've got a gallon of typical interior eggshell water-based paint. And then I'm just going to mix it up right here and I'm going to put a lot of water in it. So that I couldn't paint a wall with this, it would just drip like crazy. Okay, and then this is the technique. I'm going to take my hand and I'm going to drag it across the top against the bristles so that it flicks forward and then while I do that I'm going to push the brush forward and it's going to cause a flick pattern. Watch that. So all this, I'm not finishing that yet because I'm going to have to paint over it after this. Okay, now the more saturated my brush I can get bigger drips like this. You definitely want to go different directions. And if you look at my hand at the angle, I'm just pointing the brush at the wall. Boom, it's kind of like flicking your toothbrush at your brother. It's not like a real stiff bristled brush, so it doesn't hit the wall real hard. So you get nice round little splatters as opposed to like blasting outward when you hit the wall. See, I get bigger ones by going from a distance with a wetter brush. Notice how my brush is pointed at this angle like this and I just drag back it. You can see why I need to keep my distance from the wall because if you get too close it definitely makes it goes in too much of a pattern. Bigger paint equals bigger bigger splatters. And this one, and I'll get further away, and this will make a few big ones. <laughs> or a lot of big ones. <laughs> What a mess. Then you can take your hand and do it. Oh, cool. That worked pretty good. Awesome. All right, there's some bigger ones. <laughs> now I'll show you how to do a more close-up star with the little twinklies coming off of it like this one. 